What's up guys, we're Jungle Beats. For those who don't know, we react and view to music from all around the world, and that includes Israel. We've reacted to a bunch of countries. Germany. Spain. Spain. Argentina. <laughs> Thank you. Malawi. Thank you. Nigeria. Thank you. That's it. And now we're here in Israel. 195 countries. Oh no, 196. So we are, we only have 189 countries left to go. We will get there one day. I'm Alexander Sandalis. Yo, um, grapefruit, icy pole, pineapples, and strawberry, cheese, duster. And one of you beautiful jungle peeps oh, recommended man. we review uh, Israel, Israeli rap, mm -hmm. Nietzsche Netch, and I'm picking his most popular song on YouTube. He's 30 years old, he's a male. That's all I know. Why are you gonna bring out fucking. Gender? Yeah, man. Fuck, bro. Sorry. <laughs> He's an X chromosome, or maybe a Y chromosome. <laughs> no, you know, I don't even He's see gender. I don't bro. even see gender, bro. We all start as Ys, bro. Bro, bro. I don't see gender. I just see spirit. <laughs> this man speaking truths. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun new segment we're doing. I'm really enjoying doing it. And uh, Israel. Fuck yeah. I'm, I'm excited, man. I have no idea what we're going to get, what genre we're going to get. Hell, it could be 10 snakes just. Snapping at a rat. Um, Why is it snakes, bro? Why is it snakes, bro? Because it's... Why, bro? Because snakes are in Israel, bro. Better watch yourself, bro. <laughs> hey, at least it didn't say something like the fucking playing a flute and rising from a basket, man. I could have said much Whoa. of shit. The YouTube popo gonna be on us. <laughs> and they'll flag our video. They're gonna delete our channel. <laughs> Why are <it> snakes, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a big bottle of water. Sounds like a male. Like, she's obviously like. Sounds like a what? A veil. A male. Like, it's mouthed by a female. Like, I, it doesn't sound like a female. <laughs> Is this song about toxic relationships? <laughs> I think it is. It's so interesting going through a language from like Spanish, which is like, to me, sounds very sexy and seductive, to a language where it's just so guttural. Yeah, the Middle Eastern languages have a lot of. <sighs> yeah, I honestly think that if I was to learn a language, this would be one of the hardest languages to learn. Definitely. Downright. Do you reckon I can get that in there for me? Oh, that was fucking close though. Yeah, but no cigar. <laughs> Man, you don't know if I have cigars or not in my repertoire. I like the cadence of this song, how it switched from that fast tempo rap to the the singing um, chorus. Obviously, we have no idea what he's saying, but it's clear. We'll figure it out. We got lyrics coming up. We will. It's clear he's rapping from the female's perspective. Mm, what do you think, judging by the video, what do you think he's talking about before we look it up? I get, I get the feeling that maybe there's something in her life that this the girl wants but that's what she's like she's craving something but she just can't get it um i think the painting is supposed to symbolize something i think the you know the paint coming off her fingers like blood in the sink i think that's interesting as well uh and the reason he didn't like why didn't he put himself in the video why did he decide to put the female just going about her day and a bunch of varied emotions yeah from... she, there were two kids that ran past her and then she saw them and looked like she was like smiling and about to cry like 
Maybe she had a kid and it passed away, or maybe she can't have kids. Right, or... we got to stop speculating because we can just keep going. We're up to the kids part now, okay. Um, but I haven't even said if I like the song or not. Oh, tell me, please. Did you like the song? Uh, yes and no. I like the singing of it. I think that when this guy sings, it's quite beautiful, and it actually does uh, ensure emotion. But uh, I feel like when he's rapping, though, I just kind of wasn't feeling it too much. You zoned out a little bit? Oh, it's not that it's bad. It's just more like the whole, the, well, that sort of rapping. I know just, you're fucked. <laughs> it's just that style of rapping just doesn't appeal to me. It just really yeah. just like makes me irk. But kind of similar to grime. Okay. A lot of UK rappers I don't like because of the way they rap. Okay. I don't mind it. Um, but I love the singing. I... Well, this is awkward. <sighs> Go, mate. <laughs> There's not many times we get a multi-talented artist where they're able to rap cohesively and sing the same song was it cohesive rapping all right fucking lyrics now <laughs> do you remember the guys do you remember the apartment remember dude just the skip the intro and at this time i've been alone all this time every day again all this time i've been alone all this time i've been alone now, what can you confer from that right there? I can confer from that that all this time, they've been alone. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Wow, Johnny, you're so smart. Good Johnny! Boy. Can I have a treat, Daddy? Can yes. I suck you from Just <laughs> <laughs> go hit yourself against a wall over there, Johnny. Alright, Daddy, only if you spank me ten times with your favourite spoon. When, you, when he says spoon, <laughs> his eyes go to the top of his head. So you can only see the white of his eyes. We're getting him checked out next week. Don't worry. Uh. Verse 1. Do you remember the guy? Do you remember the apartment? Remember the laughs? You told me you are in love with me. After two days and a half, you barely did. On the inside, we cried. The outside, we laughed. You told me I have a blessing and kissed my hands. You said there are no friends in this world. A man is a wolf to another man. How you got me into your world. How you loved me till pain. A lot more than all of these hoes you've been with. Remember? Jaffa Dalet left. A sea of a sea of tears in my eyes. So I'm guessing he, just, he mentioned a certain person. This is about a toxic relationship, bro. Um, and I love that still with a culture, we're in Israel and hoes is still a word. Well, or our interpretation of hoes. Yes. But yes, I agree. Uh, just, just depicting a female as a hoe, that word just needs to fuck off, in my opinion. Okay, do you want to talk about the, the verse there? Uh, can I do the bridge and the chorus verse? I don't know what... I t- <laughs> I'll do the second verse, mate. Remember sitting on the grass in Circan, piggyback in the rain to the car, satisfied with what we like have... reading Bible verses. Always deny what wasn't good. I was Zena, the warrior princess. Oh, were you? You were an offended guy. I was listening to Nina Simone singing. You don't know what love is. When I tried to change for you and be the woman of your dreams, when you wanted classic, I was Beyonce. I actually picked up when he said when when they said Beyonce, and I was like, what? Uh, When you wanted hood, I was a slut. When we dreamt of traveling the world, if we only survived crisis, when you said you. When you said how your mum went from a hospital to a hospital to a hospital. She went to a lot of hospitals. <laughs> Times three. <clears throat> um, so it seems... It seems like now the female is kind of giving her perspective. The male gave, he gave his perspective. So the male was number one? Mm-hmm. Actually, doing... maybe that's not true. Maybe it's all the female. So it just sounds like kind of a different moment in their relationship. Yeah. And now you can do verse three because it's long. Do you remember the good... Remember the... Do you remember the hugs, kisses, because there were a few moments, rare mi- minutes of beating hearts and passion. Now tell me straightforwardly, remember the mood swings and the fights. Remember when we walked mad on the streets, looking in jealousy and lovely couples. Remember the good words, etc., etc., etc. And you get it, and so on and so forth. I'll put it on the screen. I don't need to read it all. So it's really just depicting a no, fraction. Oh, no, sorry. I don't want to read it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's really just depicting a fractured relationship that has people reflecting on the past 
highs and lows, mainly a lot of lows and a, and a lot of highs. And a lot of people seem probably can relate to this song. And it's probably a lot more artistic and beautiful in the native tongue. It seems like this person drove them so crazy that they they got it, they had anxiety attacks sleepless nights. They turned to weed and tobacco. Yeah. So in the end, they turned to addiction and just like this person consumed them and like actually made them a different person. Hmm. Kind of gives me more appreciation for the song now, to be honest. Oh, okay. What? Uh, but... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I think we've peaked. Um hop off the ship now and subscribe. But um just like the yeah. video. Thank you, Israel, for giving us this. I was actually kinda of, kinda of dug it. I don't think I can go back to it, but I can appreciate you it. A bigger shirt, bro. I think you need a bigger shirt. <sighs> okay. Put on weight the past few weeks, man. You said you've been eating more. I've been eating unhealthy this week. I feel bad. Not really. No, no. It's been in that sort of week because I've been more busy with work. That I don't have time to sort of cook or get good food. Mm. So I've just been like, been like, ah, this and ah, that. And hey, uh, we're Jungle Beats. Thank you very much. Fuck you in the face with a rubber doodle made of porcupine. I knew you were going rubber. You always go to rubber doodle, rubber duck, rubber dick, rubber something. <laughs> rubber. It's always rubber. I just love rubber. <laughs> I just love rubber, mate. That's why I fucking have a fetish of putting my dick in car tires. What?